One of the building blocks of G5 sponsorship application is to properly calculate the sponsorship costs. Now, to do this, there are um, two things to understand. One is how much a particular sponsorship uh, application costs. And second, and what are the sales of uh, what are the uh, sources of contributions? So the first one, how much a sponsorship application cost? Well, the cost of a sponsorship depends on the size of the family members of the refugees that you're planning to sponsor. Is it a single refugee applicant? or a couple or a couple with two children with five children so all these things uh, determines how much uh, resources you need to have in place so that once they arrive in canada you should have sufficient uh, resources to cover the cost of their living at least for the first 12 months uh, after their arrival for a single refugee, the group of five sponsors need to come up with at least $16,500. To include the sponsorship application that the group has, this much uh, funds or resources equal to $16,500, uh, so that it can uh, suffice the financial requirement of an application. For instance, for a couple with uh, four children to be a total of six family members, G5 sponsors need to come up with $35,500. For a family of three, $26,700 uh, financial commitment is required. For a family of five, $32,300. For a refugee family of two, it can be couple, it can be a single mother with a child, it can be a single father with a child, so whatever combination, as long as they are part of a family. For two, it requires $24,800. And for a family of four, $28,700 Canadian dollars. So this is how the basic... Uh, sponsorship costs look like depends on the size of uh, each refugee family. Now how about if you have a couple with eight children? So in this case, for a family member of six, you have the group of five sponsors need to come up with 35,500 for additional family members, you need to add 2,700 on the top of this. For example, if you have uh, two additional family members, for example, eight, then uh, 2,700 multiplied by two, it will be 5,400 plus 35,500, it will become four, uh, $40,900. And then you can add two more on the top of it if it is the family of 10, right? For example, uh, you need to add another $5,400 on the top of $40,900, which will become, if you can guess, depends on your math calculation and the skills, it will become $56,300. That's how it's calculated. So now that you understand how much it'll cost, you have to understand where those costs coming from or those funds are coming from. Three ways of contributions that sponsoring groups can use to come up with this uh, required funds. One is that uh, refugee uh, uh, sponsoring groups needs to make a commitment from their income. 
So income is one way. The second way is to um, have available funds that each of the G5 members can contribute to a trust account under the name of the refugee applicant and leave it there. Let's say if you want to sponsor a single refugee applicant, the G5 members contribute funds and deposit 16500 to a financial institution and then get a letter, a bank statement as a proof to show that the fund is available under the name of the refugee and then include with the sponsorship application. That's two. Okay, number three. Number three is it's called in-kind donation or in-kind contribution, let's say. So in-kind contribution is that you do not provide funds or, or use your, your income towards the cost of uh, refugees, uh, uh, towards the ex, uh, sponsorship expenses for refugees. You have um, actual items. Because this 16,500, whether you uh, make a commitment through uh, funds available in an account or through your income is used to pay for rent of refugees um, um, accommodation, for their food, for their uh, um, clothes, uh, for their school, for furniture and, and all those type of things. Now, if one or two or some of the G5 members have a house with four bedrooms and they're using two of them so they can make a commitment that one of the bedrooms will be given to refugee applicant upon the arrival of refugees in Canada. So instead of using your, your uh, money from your income or from your trust funds, you, 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 you provide actual accommodation. So it counts. So certain amount of money uh, uh, you can deduct from uh, by providing the uh, accommodation. And I hope to see you in the next video to understand how the sponsorship costs are calculated. And until then, you have fantastic time with your friends, family, co-workers,